UAV active. Only five left. What? What would you say anymore? What would you say anymore? Two points again. Change the position. I've lost all hope in United. I really have. Like, Man, they get on that right hand side, they overload it, and then Che Adam scores. some sort of you know average center half which which probably is to be honest with you you know what i mean it's for me it's despicable he goes in 50 50 tackles you're supposed to win it he doesn't win it you know 
it's becoming a liability because the whole back line, you know, is shifted towards Maguire. It's like Maguire is meant to be that captain and leader that sets everything up. The guy is telling him to press up. He comes back. He hasn't got that the, 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 the two in front of him to help him out. And he's captain, he's supposed to be leader. He's supposed to be keeping his back line. Lindelof must be, must be, you know, absolutely raging. So, yeah, I'm, 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 I don't know if Ralph Ragnick's in control or whatnot. Maybe the puppy is going to be in I love puppies! <laughs> I know it's going to be expensive. Well. That's, the, that's exactly, and it's not like he hasn't had the chances. Yeah, you know, yeah. the, the thing that we normally say is, Mate, I don't create no chances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Burnley, Burnley had two sitters today. Sorry, it was a weak left, but I was on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burnley had two sitters today. Sorry, it was a weak left, but I was on the side. Burnley had two sitters today. Sorry, it was a weak left, but I was on the side. Burnley had two sitters today. Burnley had two sitters today. We're almost trying to clean towards Ronaldo. He's trying to clean the ball. He's trying to clean the ball. He's trying to Ralph Ragnar 
Just do whatever you can. Get the kill. Oh, he's creating. He's, he's enough there to say go win the game. Again, I just think Saka is not there. They never will be there. And I think Saka is going to be there. to the United Stand. This is your latest Manchester United news where we're going to be talking about a potential Paul Pogba U-turn staying at United long term. We'll also be talking about Ralph Ranić fighting back. We'll talk about that as well. Also, they're now listening to Ralph Ranić and they won the 10 pad. We'll also be talking about the midfield issue and Bruno Fernandes. It's funny because I woke up this morning and actually had got tagged into a couple of tweets on social media where apparently I'm bullying and abusing Harry Maguire and I just block. You're doing that. If you are criticising, you know. Realize, you yourselves benefits the glazers and our board they love it they make you know i wouldn't Whatever. if i was them i'd actually start setting up some of these accounts to bloody make them each other. there is absolutely nothing wrong with criticizing a player on two hundred thousand pounds if your mate goes out for you to the pub at lunchtime and he's wearing a crap shirt are you going to tell him he's got a crap shirt he's just going to be you know it's you look absolutely fine we have got people wearing a shirt they should be wearing at Manchester United. It's as simple as that. And, uh, we should be called out. and the funny thing is, some of these people act like they've been watching United for 50 years. They have been watching United for 50 years. They were at Old Trafford in nearly North and I and many people were. The biggest criticiser of our players was stood on the touchline and his name was Sir Alex Ferguson, who demanded more and shouted and demanded his players to do better. We, 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 are, we are products of Sir Alex Ferguson. The, the people who complain and criticise the players today, most of us, are, you know, products of Sir Alex Ferguson oh, and, his, and his aggressive, relentless obsession with being the best in understanding of the world. I disagree with it on the fact that he's he's played really well. I don't agree with it about him. I just think he's going through a bad patch and I think he's a fantastic player. If you want to come out and say that you think Harry Maguire is a really good centre-back, you tweet that, but don't have a go at people for being critical of players that clearly are not good enough. We're going to sign this player, we're going to sign a striker, we're going to do this, let's talk of Haaland again. It's, uh, it's typical, and you know, it's an individual choice. At what point do you stop getting excited about who the next manager is? Because as we've said many times before, United's always about the future. If you can sell the future, you can sell the now. If you can pretend that we're going to be good in the future, you can sell shirts now, you can sell season tickets now. You can get interaction on team Target, training because hostile. we're going to be good in the future. This is what United sell. They're selling Target, the place. So, do you think you're going to get you Trash play. 
players and club aside, do you think Ralph is a good coach, Daniel said? And that's a great question, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Remind me about that, Daniel. But I want to start off on a positive. I think that there is one positive uh, from yesterday, put Sancho aside. Um, massive praise. He's coming to the postman. And, um, you know, it, it, it's going the way with Pogba that many of us predicted it would. Um, some some were like, don't pick him, he's leaving in the summer, he, you know, he's a mercenary, get rid of him. But the vast majority were like, well, whatever I think about Pogba, you've got to use him. He's going to use us. He's probably going to play well. Yeah. Basically, we, that's inevitable. So you've got to utilise him in the team, to, to, so that if he is using us to make himself look good, if he's playing well and he's making himself look good, there's a big chance that we're going to probably. Win. That is a positive round, but a lot of people were saying yesterday that you know, give him a contract, give him what he wants. I'm, I'm but there is stories coming out that Paul Popper's ready to do a U-turn and sign a new contract. So, you know, for many people that might be a positive. Um, I personally don't believe it. I think it's um, I think there's probably three issues in the contract at United. Um, I, 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 see the return of the thread because that midfield actually if you think about it was at um, not directly obviously obviously Maguire made a massive mistake against Burnley and he played them on the side both Delo and Varane to take some Someone responsibility as well. But if you look at where the goals come from, that you know if we had a better holding midfielder or two midfielders, we'd probably deal with that um first I see the phase enemy of the attack. Southampton with left in the field battle, having nearly won it in the first half of the against Burnley and I don't think we can do it again. So, ultimately, spending half a million pounds a week on a player that realistically we're going to have to drop one of our own, other good players to start it or, or come up with a new system. Secondly, um, I like Pogba. I, I, I do like Pogba. I think he's a very, very good player. But he has been here for six years and Martin, he's witnessed what Manchester so. United is all about. And if he was going to be a I'd question for Pogba. He wouldn't be the, he wouldn't be the player. Hey, I think moving. he is an ambitious player that wants to win things. and. Why would you sign a new deal at United? It, for me, it would be a totally mercenary move. I don't think he's about that. You know, obviously, he's always the trap. But I don't think he's motivated by money. Um, I, I don't. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but I don't. Maybe, maybe he's aging. <laughs>